I'm Miles Martin, and I'd like to show how I make a mammoth ivory knife sheath. Just the basics. First, I select a curved piece of ivory, as you can see, and I grab another piece already done, and I put the knife in temporarily to see if it's even going to work. Then I select a slab of um, wood that I'm going to use for the back, veneer wood. And I sometimes have to use a drill bit, the end of the belt sander, some way to uh, trim. Usually I trim the wood rather than the ivory to get a good fit. And you can see I hold it by hand and slide the knife in and out until I get a close approximation and uh, I know it's going to work and then I glue the ivory to the wood. And then I glue it and you can see that it's not a perfect fit so I have a separate video showing how to do filler and restoration but basically I put ivory dust down inside the crack and put super glue in and for now I'm just doing a rough job because uh, this isn't the time to do the final touch up. Once I've decided that the knife is going to fit I put it on the belt sander. I use a four inch belt sander. I start with a fairly rough 60 or 80 grit and that's all I use is the four inch belt sander. I've got other videos on making nice scales showing how to work the ivory but the important thing is keep it moving and don't overheat it. I don't wear gloves. If it's too warm to the touch then it's too hot. So I sand all the edges and get it roughed out and part of that roughing out might include uh, making the back or the front thinner to take the weight down and make it look nicer. That back is a little bit thick here, so I sand it down. And I might trim the ivory a little to bring out some of the color and give it a little bit of shape. And I'm just showing the basics here, so I go from a 60 grit to a uh, I take it down to about a 200 grit and when I'm happy with it then I have to reinforce it with rivet so I drill a series of holes and I just use uh, 18 gauge wire for my rivets. And each knife sheath will present its own challenges. Uh, there's one that's all wood and not ivory. Similar principles. And sometimes I put an end cap on the tip if I have a round piece of ivory. And sometimes I carve into the ivory if it allows it or I apply metal. Sometimes I wrap a metal uh, banding around the top and that really helps hold everything together. And that's a neck knife with two um, jump rings on it. Sometimes I fill the hole with resin and slip the knife down into the resin and get a perfect fit. So every um, piece is going to be slightly different, but um, hopefully this video gives you some ideas and shows you the basics. And I've got links to more videos and... Um, my website, I sell raw materials, blank knife blades. I'm at www.milesofalaska.com. Hope you enjoyed this.